Kitab al Book of Transactions. In Islamic terms, al bayah trading in transactions, is the exchange of money, even if it is in debt, or that of a permissible benefit, such as a walkway in a house, for the same value of either one of them, permanently, without any riba, usury, interest, or or loan. The arkan, pillars, and conditions of al bayah Types of aqood, contracts. Aqood al muawida Communitive contracts such as al bayah sale, and al ijar hiring or leasing out. 2. Aqood al tawthiq such as mortgage and insurance and guarantees. And thirdly, Aqood al tabarra such as loans, gifts, wills, and charity. Arkan pillars of al bayah are 1. The two contractors, the seller and the buyer, the object of the contract, that which is being sold. 3. The method, which can be a verbally through offering and accepting or b action based through give and take the default ruling concerning it al is that it is halal permissible allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and allah has permitted trading and prohibited usury therefore for all objects such as real estate animal furniture etc it is permissible to initiate contracts on them if the conditions of al are met the conditions of al revolves around three things Al-Ghul, injustice, Al-Riba, usury, interest, and Al-Gharar, uncertainty and ambiguity. Therefore, whoever sells something that he does not own, then he falls under injustice. Whoever deals with usury, then he is falling under Riba, usury and interest. Lastly, whoever sells something unknown, then it comes under Al-Gharar. Conditions of Al-Bayah 1. Both parties must be satisfied. 2. There must not be any gharar, ambiguity, or uncertainty in the price or the item being sold. 3. Both parties must own, i.e., that which they are selling, or be authorized to handle them. 4. The transaction must be free of riba, usury. 5. The price and the item being sold must not be haram, prohibited.